Cubs versus Pirates, top of the third, two outs, runner on first. Cubs are up one nothing. Strap in one of the dumber plays you'll ever see happen on a baseball field. Nice pitch there for strike one. Swinging, strike two. O2 fouls it back to stay alive. Now the runner on first takes off for second. They pick him off. No, they don't. He makes it there easily. A little catcher on catcher crime. Two out, two strike, gone. They got him on the pickoff. The first baseman kind of fumbles it. No one covers second base. Just sloppy all around. Strap in. Hit to the third baseman. Over to first. Easy peasy third out. All he has to do, oh, Javi's running away from me. I'll just turn around and I'll walk two steps and I'll step on first base because it's the third out and it's a force out and that's all that matters. Instead, he gets baited and he chases Javi down the line. Doesn't make any sense. Now, I think what Javi Baez is doing is he's trying to stay in a rundown because he believes that if the runner scores before he's tagged, the run will count. But I just did a quick Google search of the rules that say, no, the run w- still wouldn't count because Javi is forced to go to first, so he has to get the first before the run to count. So at this point, he could still just tag Javi. <laughs> he could still just tag Javi Baez. He could just run two more steps and tag him. Now he's got him pinned. Javi Baez has nowhere to go. He throws to the catcher who tries to tag the runner out. He's called safe by both Javi and the ump. The run scores. Now he's got to get the first. Now, if a, if the second baseman was standing on first, waiting, and they threw it to first and got him out, then that run still wouldn't count because it's still a force out. But the second baseman, the right fielder, no one on the Pirates knew what was going on. It gets past him. It gets past the guy backing up. Now Javi's going to second base. They're going to throw it over there, and he's going to miss it. He's going to go for the tag instead of just catching it. And Javi's like, I'm good, right? I'm good? Yeah, yeah, you're good. And they're just belly laughing in the dugout. They're like, how the hell did the Pirates fall for that? How did any of that make sense? Rizzo can't control himself. How do you try to even process what just happened? And it gets worse because that should have been the last out of the inning. Instead, my dude Hap throws one into center field. That scores Javi Baez. Now he scores after all that he's just smiling and laughing like can you believe that can you believe they fell for that one then the next play goes to the first baseman again kind of eats him up I don't know maybe it would have been a tough play but still just not a fun hits his glove not a fun time to be the first baseman finally they induce the pop fly to left field get out of the inning two runs later should have been easy out and he's going oh my god I'm so dumb I'm having such a bad day I wish I was on a beach somewhere relaxing. And this guy in the stands is like, why don't you just be like me, man? Look at me. Getting some sun, drinking some beer, making some faces. So, yeah, great fan, bad play. Ian Happ, he's on the Cubs. He was part of this video. He's got a podcast on our network. It's called The Compound. They'll probably be talking about this play and sharing a good laugh. So be on the lookout for that. Subscribe to The Compound. Check out the YouTube channel. Dumb baseball.